The next pillar is the pillar of mutual responsibility. It's about saying, I, as a person with mental health issues, have some responsibility for taking action to getting better. And I, as a manager of a team, have some responsibility to supporting all members of my team to stay well or to recover. But it's not about separating those two and giving all of the responsibility to one or the other party. It's not about going, oh, yeah, Jono is really stressed, but it's because he's getting divorced, so that's not a workplace issue, so I don't have to do anything. Or it's not about saying, I'm really stressed because my work hours are incredibly long and, um, you know, my, I'm not getting along with my team member. So it's not my fault, it's their fault and they have to fix it. That's not being mutually responsible. That's somebody playing the victim. And we'll talk more about stepping from victim thinking into empowered thinking and mutual responsibility is part of that collaborating as workforce and um, work environment to work together to be mutually responsible regardless of the cause, regardless of the fault or the blame, but work together at, in mutual responsibility to keep people well and to help them recover. So do you think that mental health is more the individual's responsibility or the organisation's? If you think there's an imbalance in there, then consider what can you do to implement more balance in that. Again, it doesn't come down to who's responsible or who's at fault or who's to blame or how this started. It comes down to who's going to be responsible. And the best answer is both of us together. From an organisational perspective, are uh, your employees viewing mental health as your responsibility and something that management needs to be looking after? Or is it something that they also recognise is their personal responsibility to collaborate and work on together with the organisation? Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.